Hola, muy buenas, bienvenidos un día más al canal Continuamos con The Outer Worlds De acuerdo Y lo que tenemos que hacer es conseguir el regulador Para ver si podemos arrancar Nuestra máquina, ¿vale? Nuestra nave, super nave espacial Vale, a ver si no nos ve, a ver si no nos ve, a ver si no nos ve Muy bien, muy bien Vale Ostras tú, que falla más tonto Vale, tengo que aprender a no usar Vale, tengo que aprender A no usar El tiempo este de bala Cuando esté recargando, vale Vale, parece que a veces Cuando estoy muy lejos no les doy ¡Buah! a la cabeza chaval vale vamos a coger todo lo que lleve que no lleva nada vale pues chaval de verdad Cómo mola el juego, tronco. Mirad esa luna. Increíble. Vale, parece que tengo que ir para allá. Vale, vamos a echar un vistacito. Va. Esto podré coger, será algo... Pues no Esto parece una especie ¿Este quién es? Oh, hey Where'd you come from? Silas Don't go ambling out in those hills That's marauder territory, friend Vale Hmm ¿Cómo sabes que no soy un... Bueno, no voy a preguntar esto Ain't safe out here You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Vale. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Vale. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Hmm. <laughs> Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. But, eh? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Hmm. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, 
And those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Vale. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Former people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. But it? Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Perfecto. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. I can really go for some salt tuna. Vale. Bueno, pues parece que tenemos una misión eh, secundaria, perdón, que es eh, eh, cobrar eh, los impuestos de la funeraria. Vale. Frontemar. Estamos en Frontemar. Eh, bueno, comentaros que los tiempos de carga son un poquito... Eh, un poquito largos pero bueno Entras tú vale vamos a ver si conseguimos pues chaval de verdad residente no podemos hablar con ellos vale eh... vale ahora mismo no podemos cambiar de arma La cantina, hemos descubierto la cantina. Mira, está la barbería. Vale. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Vale. Eh, vamos a ver... Hmm. Es que no sé si este es uno de los que tenemos que cobrar y lo podemos intimidar. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Vale, pues tú lo que tienes que hacer. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Vale. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Hmm. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. Vale, creo que deberíamos haberle intimidado. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Much vale. obliged. No sé si puedo hablar otra vez con él. What can I do for you? Y ahora sí intimidarlo.
Hi there. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. But, um... A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. Go ahead. The plagues come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm. A tendency towards belly aching. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Hmm. Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Vale, y este no, no va a pagar, vamos. Este no tiene pinta de que vaya a pagar. What can I do for you? Nada. Pues nada, fracaso total en este caso. Pues chaval, la cantina. Es que aquí nos podemos tirar un rato, no. Lo siguiente. A ver. Vamos a entrar a la cantina porque aquí ya me ha dado curiosidad. Vale. Entonces este pavo de aquí. Vale. Eh, vamos a engañarle. The unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about. But this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Vale. You really she... think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. But I've got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Vale. Coming right up. Vale, perfecto. Es igual al valor de tu talento más alto de diálogo y sirve para negociar los precios a la hora de comerciar con vendedores. Vale, ¿qué es lo que quiero? A ver, tengo 36 bits. Vale, no tengo para comprar nada. Así que nada. Fue chaval. Y de verdad, pues podemos hablar con toda esta peña. ¿Mm? Vale, pues nada, vamos a continuar. Vale. Oh, 
The grease monkey, Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Vale. Eh, vale. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Vale. Vale. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Mm. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Vale. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Perfecto. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Hmm. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. <laughs> the people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Vale. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Vale. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to hmm. one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand. Me da mí que Adelaida no lo va a entender. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Vale. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Vale. Perfecto. Amistad. Acompañante. Se ha conseguido eh, un acompañante. Los acompañantes son personajes que se te unirán en tu aventura y te ayudarán de distintas formas. Los acompañantes propo, eh, proporcionan apoyo en combate, sus talentos potencian los tuyos, aumentará tu capacidad de carga, puedes desbloquear habilidades especiales de combate para los acompañantes con el talento Inspiración. Encontrarán más información en el registro de acompañantes. Perfecto, pues ahí podemos ver ya en el minimapa que está también actualizado el punto, puede que tengas que completar otra misión a ver, ahí se me ha ido un carterito ahí y no lo he visto, oye if you could see your way to getting us our power back I'd appreciate it mm, a ver qué más tiene que decir 
Vale. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors, borderline inedible. Hmm. Begging your pardon, Saltuna is a staple in the diet of any self-respecting spacer. Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us, Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. Vale. Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of Saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prettiest of que esta gente está engañando, vale. Go ahead. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veils spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. Vale. This is a Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. Loyalty has got nothing to do with it, friend. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Okay. A ver, vamos a darle una de una de cal. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Hmm. I expect you wouldn't understand. You don't see the town as I do. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. Vale, perfecto. Yo creo que ya es suficiente. Esta es nuestra acompañante que se llama. Eh, a ver, ahí está. Porvati. La verdad es que sí que está un poco pequeño lo, los textos, ¿vale? De... Y eso unido a que tengo la tele un poco lejos, pues la verdad es que me cuesta un poco de trabajo leer algunas cosas, ¿vale? Así que digo, vale. Vale, vamos a ver qué podemos. Hey, mister, a ver. Sorry. Can we chat? Vale. ¿Tienes algo que decir? No, no tiene nada que decir. Vamos por aquí. Vale, parece que tenemos que salir de lo que es el pueblo, ¿vale? Vale, un segundito. Vamos a ver el tema este de los puntos disponibles. Espérate, espérate Quiero Tecnología A ver A Aplicar eh... A ver, espérate, espérate ¿eh? Porque no entiendo muy bien esto, tronco a ver Cos. Mejor actuarme armadura en el banco de trabajo Y Reparación de campo Reparar armas y armadura Vale Vale 
Ah, ok, ok, le estoy dando puntos Vale, 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 pues nada Vale, vale, ¿cuántos puntos me quedan? Vale, me quedan tres puntos disponibles Vale Y aquí, vale, perfecto Ahora lo acabo de pillar, macho Vale, estupendo Otra cosa que me gustaría ver es eh... Vale, aquí le puedo decir Be right there. Vale, le puedo dar órdenes Con la cruceta a mi acompañante, ¿vale? Y por último Bueno, me estoy curando Quiero ver cómo puedo abrir Vale, me dice que tengo talentos y ventajas disponibles A ver, vale, a ver los talentos ¿Verdad los cambian? No, ¿qué dices? Vale. Perfecto. Reparar objetos. Vale. Personaje, el diario. Vale, aquí en el diario me sale la misión principal. Vale. Un pequeño asunto funerario que aquí es donde tenemos la, las... Eh, ¿A quién tenemos que cobrarle? ¿Vale? Entonces tenemos que cobrarle a... Eh, Philip, a Luigi y a Bernati. En su casa. Vale, entonces ya sabemos cómo... A ver, ¿dónde era? Aquí. Sección de ventajas. Vale personaje en el diario es donde tenemos vale este es el acompañante perfecto vale muy bien aquí ya tenemos en el diario las misiones secundarias de acuerdo así que vamos a ver el diario eh, vamos a ver a, a Luigi es una de las cuatro personas está apostado como una plataforma de aterrizaje al sureste de Fronte mar Vale, sureste, este, sureste Pues tiene que estar Por aquí A ver, ¿esto qué es? Vale Parece como una especie De iglesia Vicario Max Déjame ver si este era uno de los... Ya me enreo con los nombres No, este no era Pero vamos a hablar con él Yes, what is it? You're an outsider Fantastic Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service Or Vicar Max if you're the sort who prefers brevity And Ms. Holcomb as well How rare to see you out And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Hmm. No le voy a preguntar sobre eso. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Vale. <laughs> ¿En serio que es lo que venden aquí? <laughs> the OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. Vale. The order of scientific inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. Vale. You don't talk to the grand architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. 
Hmm. Bye. Fun. It concerns much bigger things than fun. Things like deciphering the secrets of the universe to start. Vale, creo que hemos acabado. Just a moment. If you're going to be walking around outside, make sure you're well prepared. Unless you don't care for your life. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Vale. So you'll consider it? I do appreciate you hearing me out, and, um, your discretion. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Perfect. Thank Tenemos you. If you Otra misión secundaria. Me here. Muy bien, pues nada. Vamos para afuera. Bueno, disculpad que en este segundo vídeo no tenemos como que una misión. Estoy tratando de conocer un poco el pueblo este y tal, ¿vale? Saltuna. Que nos han confirmado que, que ahí ponen pues hongos y cosas de esas, ¿vale? Perfecto. Muy bien, chicos. Pues lo vamos a ir dejando por aquí. Lo he dicho, eh, disculpad que en este segundo vídeo pues no no hayamos concretado nada, pero es que me interesaba un poco ver el pueblo y de qué iba esta gente, ¿vale? Oh, fijaos, de verdad, cómo mola. Increíble. Increíble. Aquí está la barbería, que creo que ya entramos. No creo que este pavo me pague. Vamos a intentarlo de nuevo, pero no creo que... No creo Go que ahead. pague nada de lo que debe. Nah, no. Muy bien, chicos. Pues vamos a dejarme salir de aquí. Déjame salir de aquí. Vale, perfecto. Muy bien, pues con estas impresionantes vistas de nuevo. Lo vamos a dejar. Espero que os haya gustado. Si ha sido así, dar un like y suscribiros. Y nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. Hasta pronto.